guys welcome back to another video before i get into it don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm in my little like red sweatsuit feeling like a blood but um i'm gonna go to sephora right now it's actually my auntie lynn's birthday tomorrow her birthday is november 14th so i'm gonna go to sephora and maybe pick up some little goodies Maybe pick up some goodies for myself. I don't know. I've been kind of doing a lot of spending, so probably not. But if something catches my eye, who knows? But yeah, I'm going to go there now. And just wanted to give you guys a little update. don't know what I'm going to get. Firming sleeping cream, firming day cream. These seem like good options. Hey guys, I am back from the store. I just showered, so I'm like in my onesie. One thing about me is I actually, nine times out of ten, my sleepwear is always going to be pajama sets or like onesies or like like pajamas. Like I'm not one of those people that wear like sweats and like a t-shirt to bed. I, I don't know why. I like dressing for bed. So if you catch me in a pajama set, you know why. I'm, I'm literally, I live in them. Anyways, since I'm back from Sephora and I'm ready for bed before I want to go to bed, I just want to show you guys the goods, what I got, do a little tiny haul. I got a lot of like mask things, so I got this, this Moroccan oil mask, it's for the hair. I mean, it's never a bad idea to treat your hair. So I got two of them, especially because, you know, it's getting colder. Some little Moroccan oil masks. And then I got um, this cucumber eye mask she likes eye mask stuff i know that and i think cucumber is just cooling so i got two of those as well and then i got this cactus foot mask i've never tried like a foot mask before but i feel like i've heard good things about them you're always on your feet all day like i feel like it's nice to just treat your feet so i got a cactus one i don't know cactus will probably feel like maybe like cooling like aloe and then I also just got a coconut one. I thought these would be two good ones. So I got her these feet or foot masks. And then um, I got this like intensive firming kit. So it's like um, a rubber mask. So it's meant you put it on. I think it's like, oh, so it comes with the gel. So you put the collagen on first. And everyone knows collagen is good, especially because we stop producing collagen or something after 25. So. You know, you put that on and you put like, the, the top half on and then the bottom half and it's a little rubbing mask and it's supposed to be firming. So I think she'll really like that. It's just like super crazy and cool and fun. I've never, I don't think I've ever done a rubber mask. So I got of jealous. Maybe I should have gotten one for myself. And then, oh, they threw in a little goodie. This Armani perfume, little tester. So she can just test that out. If she likes it, perfect. Maybe she can get more or, you know, Sometimes it's fun to play around with your scents. If you're just going to a little dinner, you might just want to do a different scent. So these are the things I got her. I hope she likes them. Um, you know, just fun little goodies. Things that you probably wouldn't pick up yourself, um, but you're happy that you have because you're going to like use all of them. Yeah, I'm probably going to just chill out now and I'll see you guys tomorrow when I meet her for her birthday. Hi guys, so it's the next day. I'm gonna go to the dinner now. It's gonna be this Mediterranean place. I feel like I don't really wear blazers often, so I try to do a little blazer look. Got a black tank, and then like a little pink blazer for the pop of color, and then some dark jeans and some booties. And then I got my little Fendi purse. You know, this is like my little dinner purse, I feel. I like the like, little cutout sonic and then i'll probably just throw on like a little black wool coat and it's kind of cold today it's raining I'll see me there and you'll see what we get i'm really hungry so i'm very excited to eat cheers to the birthday girl <laughs> So today is like two days later. Auntie Lynn's birthday was on the Sunday and today it's Tuesday. 
it was so lovely if you like mediterranean food you should definitely check out that place it was super good i know we were at the uptown location but they also have a downtown location i've never been there but i'm sure the setup's good there too it was just super pretty the food was so good um and yeah it's a kind of more of a shareable so if you can go with like a group of people and just get a lot of things and just try it out and mm, magnificent but now Leo and I kind of just finished up the gym, so we're hungry, hungry, hungry hippos. We are heading to dinner now. Um, where are we going? Uh, we're going to a place called Jiyubi. It's like a Japanese grill. Yeah, so Japanese grill. We love this place. It's so good. If you like um, any type of Korean grill, Japanese grill, you should definitely check out this place as well. I'll show a few clips when we're there, but I'm so excited to get there and eat. We're just in the car right now. We're just on our way there. Sorry if it's a little dark, it's, you know, it's Kanata and it literally gets so dark. It's 7.25, I remember the days when it was 9 o'clock and that's when it started to get dark, but I know we go through this every single year, but I still can't get my head to, to literally understand it. So, yeah, sorry for the darkness. How are you feeling? Are you full now? No longer oh, hungry? Oh yeah, uh, super full. Uh, dinner was really good. Taste with you are even better. And I'm looking forward to more. Wow, thanks. You see that guys? A little bit of a fake personality for the camera. But whatever. He's being nice to me. That's all that matters. I thought we were done, but Leo wants creme brulee, so we're gonna have some creme Hi guys, so today is the next day. I'm just filming on my phone actually. Dinner last night was very good. It was nice and tasty. I, we just are obsessed with going there. Like anytime we're like, what to be, what should we go for dinner? We think about going other places and then we're always just like, Japanese grill and then we go. So it was a long wait though. It's a busy, busy place. There's always a wait. You can't just like get in and get seated. Like even though we were part of the wait list, it always seems like we got a wait, which is okay, you know. It's a popular place, it's a popular place, there's nothing you can do about that. Um, now, it's actually pretty gloomy outside, so, you know, when it's gloomy, you're in the mood for some soup. So we're actually on our way to go get pho. Let me know if you like pho. Let me know what is your gloomy day comfort food. Is it like mac and cheese? Is it spaghetti? Is it pho? What is it? Ours is, Leo's is pho, um, but I don't know what mine is. Honestly, mine is probably fun too after being with Leo, but yeah, so we're just on our way to do that. I am excited. They look so good. Leo got the big version. I got the little version. I can't, I can't finish that much, but mm, I love that. So fucking good. Hi, so that was really good. It was very, it filled up our bellies. It warmed our bellies. We're feeling the less up. Let me know, how do you cure a boba addiction? How, how do you do that? Because this guy right here, he's addicted to it. He gets it, I don't want to expose, but like it seems like every single day yeah. he's getting it. So how, what do you guys, well, what, what is this then? What is this? Because you asked me. No, because you wanted to get it. So literally all the time he's getting it. Camera, so I don't know no, I didn't. Happened. All the time he's getting this, guys, and I'm just getting nervous. Like how do you cure addiction at this point? But I got the mango green tea. Um, I love mango and I love green tea. So this is actually just the perfect thing for me. But yeah, please let me know, guys, because I'm actually getting really scared. I don't know if I should take him to rehab. I don't know where I should take this guy. But if you know how to cure boba addiction, I would love to know. The boba clinic. <laughs> but yeah, we're just on our way home now. We're probably going to take a nap because we're kind of tired after that. Uh, and, or no, actually, we're going to watch the first episode of the Dexter... Well, that was a big bump. Of the Dexter reboot. What's it called? Is it called the Dexter reboot? It's called Dexter New Blood. Dexter New Blood. I never. I watched the original Dexter, but I didn't end up finishing it. But I keep hearing like it was such a bad, terrible ending. So like, it seems like it doesn't matter. But yeah, we're gonna watch that. Hopefully, we like it. I love those kind of scary killer things. So yeah, and then we'll probably take it up. But see you guys later. 
I'm actually gonna head out to dinner with my friends. We were supposed to go to this vegan Mexican place called Rosalinda, but then our friend actually works at Wish and they're like, why don't you guys just come here instead? So we're gonna be doing that. It's pretty cold today and I actually haven't dry cleaned my winter coat yet. It's kind of a lesson for me to just dry clean it when the season ends so I don't have to worry about it. And I haven't bought, in a, new, bought a new winter coat yet, so damn. So I'm kind of layered. I'm wearing this turtleneck and then this, oh sorry, people are drying their clothes. And then this like cardigan thing, if you can tell. So I'm kind of just like all cozy because I'm probably going to be cold. And then I just threw on this brown long leather jacket some mom jeans, some Reeboks, and then since I'm going for the all brown look, I did a little Louis moment. So that's my fit for today. I'm actually kind of running late, so I shouldn't even be filming this right now. Um, but yeah, I'll record some clips when we're there. I have never been to Wish, so I'm excited to go and excited to see my friend and, you know, meet up with my friends and chit chat, girl talk. Haven't done a little girl session in a while. So yeah, just wanted to update and I'm gonna head there now. I'll probably record on my phone because I just don't feel like bringing my camera, but yeah. Yeah, hi. say hi to the vlog. <laughs> hi guys. So we're actually just walking back from the mall. Um, we'll do a haul later. I woke, up John, yeah, I woke up John from his sleep. This man is a deep sleeper. Like I've never seen anything like it. Oh yeah, and dinner was nice, dinner was good. I had a great time, but back to what I'm saying. I was yelling his name. He's blaring music from, what's it called? Hey Google, like what's that system called? <laughs> Just the Google system. And I had to be like, hey Google, turn off and yelling. And then eventually he wakes up and then he gets scared and spooked that he sees me in his doorway. But yeah, I called him cause I needed to get a new coat. So I bought a new coat. It's the duvet puffer in the short. I'm mean, very excited to try it. And yeah, he got himself a little coffee and a little hoodie. And a hoodie. So we're just enjoying the Toronto air, which is very polluted in this area. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little update. Do you have anything to say, John? I spent $60 when I just went out. <laughs> like who was supposed to spend that much money? You were. Are you throwing something out? No, we're going this way. Okay, John's taking me some weird route that I've never been. Because you don't explore Toronto. Anyways, bye guys, because I'm actually scared. Hey. hey guys, I'm home now. I'm just in my pajamas. Did I show the coat? Do you all see it? Let me put you guys down. Let me show you guys the coat. So I got the short um, in this dark rust color. It's kind of like a brownie plum. I got a size small. I tried the extra small. I like the fit, but I like the fit of the small better. It was just a better fit to me. So this is how it looks open. I think it's cute. And then it has a button close instead of a zipper close. So this is how it looks buttoned up. Then it has a hood. And I like the big hood. I think this is cute. And then these are the pockets. It's like a zipper close. And the pockets are lined and they're nice and warm. Anyways, enough of that. A little bit of show and tell. If you guys want me to do like a review at all on like the winter coats I have or like Aritzia winter coats. Are they worth it? What's, like, what's the hype all about? You know, I can do that. Duvet puffer versus um, super pop or anything like that. Um, my roommates have a lot of super pops, so I can do like comparison to fit, feel, and warmth. But I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much on following my journey around Toronto and the different restaurants. I definitely think you guys should check them out if you're into any of those types of places. I would say my favorite was GUB. I just think it's a fun vibe, especially like, you know, the grill style and you're like doing your own thing and then the food is just super good. I just, I would say that was my favorite, but atmosphere vibe, Byblos, the first place, the Mediterranean place, that was just such a pretty, pretty place and you're sitting on couches with cushions and it just felt very romantic. So that was super good. But yeah, um, 
stay tuned for more vlogs i'll see you guys next week and comment down below what you want to see more from me i see that you guys really enjoyed the aritzia haul so if you want more hauls i can do more or if you just even want reviews on some of the clothes i do have a lot of the popular items so i can even do that just comment below what you want and i'll give it to you guys ask and you shall receive anyways thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week bye